is Jacob Beach. Uh, me and Mrs. Beach are way out here in the Ozarks in beautiful Arkansas. We just finished up with the Preppers and Patriots uh, convention in uh, Mountain Homes. It was incredible. Uh, we decided that we did well and that we can spend some time out in the mountains. Got lost, had some incredible misadventures, but uh, if you stick with me, I'll show you some uh, very scenic places. And today's highlight gear will be the Revelation Blades workhorse. We're going to put it to work, so stick around. All right, so if you ever have to leave your pack somewhere in the woods, what I've learned is that you're going to want to carry a VS-17 panel, some neon orange, or some neon pink. Because if I didn't mark my path back to my bag here, I may not have ever found it. So for this, a, a neon orange Mora, or even some neon orange 550 cord or something like that could absolutely be helpful. Lesson learned. At least I kept some bright pink on my wife. You never want to lose your wife. Hey guys, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, I've got a swimming hole to my front, a waterfall to my back, and we're out here. We can appreciate God's creation. There's no trash. There's no loud music. Uh, it's beautiful. It's peaceful. And we're able to be away from everyone and everything and appreciate our time together. No knife manufacturer will ever recommend for you to bang on anything with the side of the knife, especially in ground that could be rocky and hard, but this is a survival knife. Uh, I've been banging in tent stakes for the last two days. You can see a little bit here on the fi finish. Uh, this knife is made to do what other knives can't, because this knife is made for a, a point in time where you might have to use the knife for anything and everything. So uh, that's what I do when I take this knife out, I abuse it. When batoning, for your first few hits, hit your knife directly over what you're batoning. And uh, that way you don't lose any energy. You can get it started just real easy. All right, so I just woke up. Mrs. Beach is not yet inclined to do so. I've got a product that I've been waiting to test for a very, very long time. And that is this utility flame. Now, I had this nice fire going yesterday, 
Uh, I didn't get to show you guys a lot of the work that I was able to do with that uh, workhorse knife because uh, it got too tar dark for filming. But uh, I want to try and be lazy and see if I can't get this going, which I shouldn't since I have no kindling. But we'll see what I can do. Let's check it out. All right, so this is basically a gel. Uh, I found this product in this company a long time ago at the first NPS Preppers Convention, which was in Nashville. I was still in the Army at the time. I was there with all my buddies. I went to the gun show in Nashville where I found a bunch of price gouging and uh, rip-offs. And right next door is this Preppers Convention. Entrance was free. And it was the coolest dang thing on the planet. And so, uh, let's see how this stuff takes and goes. It's been in that packet for a couple of years, so if fire gel can expire, maybe it has. Alright, so it's lit, and this stuff is supposed to uh, burn for like 30 minutes or something. I better get that little glob attached to the rest of the globs where it can actually do something. Alright, let's see if we can move this glob of fire here. next to this larger glob of fire. What's interesting is everywhere I'm moving it, the gel is all splitting up, of course, but it's all still on fire. Nothing's going out. This is pretty darn cool stuff, actually, to be honest. I feel like I can really spread this around and get stuff going. This stuff is hot. Now this is really meant for an emergency when all other resources have been expended. It'll, it's supposed to light in the uh, in the rain and it's supposed to keep its flame in the wind and everything else. Obviously I'm not using it in that way. I'm just being lazy. But hey, it's pretty darn cool. That stuff got going really well. So after I got the fire going, while Mrs. Beach was pondering life's most deep questions like, could she spend the rest of her life in her sleeping bag, I figured I would try my hand at making my first ever figure four deadfall using the Revelation Blades workhorse. If ever, anyone ever tells you that you can't do small chores with a big knife, they're using the wrong big knife. Now this is my first one ever and I just was remembering a picture. So uh, this figure four is not perfect. And it's not even great. But I know that the knife has the capacity to work. So once I know how to make a really, really good figure four deadfall, I'll uh, do a demonstrational video using the workhorse. Alright, uh, one of the products that I brought out here with me is a jet boil stove. My father gave this to me uh, before, as a wedding gift before my honeymoon with Mrs. Beach, which was a two day camping trip, much like this one. And uh, it ignites itself super lightweight and this thing boils this thing boils soup in like 20 seconds solid water like this takes a little bit longer but uh, super compact um, I packed it all out here on my bag obviously in my bag just an excellent product I don't care what anybody says dinosaur eggs are the breakfast of champions
So there's our nice little camp. Say hi, Mrs. Beach. And here's a big old pile of bear poop. All right, guys, here it is, my favorite spot. The place is incredible. Uh, and uh, I can't let my subscribers and viewers down by bringing you to a place like this and not getting in the water. Only problem is I didn't bring a swimsuit. So, this water's cold, it's about glacial, it's not that warm of a day, but I better get in and enjoy it. Check it out. Hey guys! I made it! It's freezing cold in here, but uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you!